What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and welcome to your stimulus check update, stimulus package, and infrastructure update, and more daily news. Now, I was reading a few reports just a little while ago talking about new checks, talking about the stimulus checks, and the potential that we may see a fourth one. I want to bring that to you in just a second. But we're seeing a lot of a lot more information coming from lawmakers regarding what will be in this next infrastructure package. Some are saying this will be bigger than $3.5 trillion. Others say this is just going to cause more and more inflation, but we will see what happens as we move forward. Now, let me bring you the update for today. And first, this is actually pretty good news. This is really good news because lawmakers are actually coming out saying that they were wrong that they were wrong and there needs to be more additional assistance provided to the American people. Well, if you believe this is true, if you believe the American people need more assistance, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button and also consider subscribing so that I can continue to keep you updated on everything that is going on. But here's the update for this afternoon. Lawmakers are now saying that they are considering, okay, this is according to two different reports just a little while ago. Lawmakers are considering passing a $500 increase to the earned income tax credit. They're looking into maybe providing a $500 gas voucher or gas card to every American out there. They're considering uh, doing something like, uh, you know, adding more onto the, the SNAP benefit program so that those people can take $500 of their additional money and put that towards paying for gas and paying for other things. So remember when I stated about two or three months ago that I expect this stimulus check to be hidden behind something else? Well, that's essentially what this is doing. Again, I stated this a while, a while ago because this is what lawmakers were hinting at. They were gonna hide the stimulus check behind something else. So it didn't seem like a stimulus check, but it would do the exact same thing. Well, that's exactly what we're seeing. What we know is that lawmakers are currently discussing that if this were to go into effect, that we would see a $500 earned income tax credit or what have you uh, go to the American people. This would be something that would go per year, which again, would mean that this would have to be, we'd have to have some type of automatic trigger in this in order to see it continue. But this would go and stay into effect until gas prices return to pre-pandemic levels. That means they're gonna have to come down by like a dollar a dollar average per gallon, they'd have to come down before the government stops giving away $500. And this isn't $500 per month, this is $500 a year, okay? Just to give you an idea, now I didn't do the math, I probably should have, so sorry about that, let me do it really quick. 500, uh, $500 divided by 12 months is $41.66 per month. That's not a lot of money. If you divide that, okay, 500 divided by 365 days in a year, that is $1.36 per day for gas. It's not a lot of money. It is not a lot of money, okay? But here's what we know. This $500, this could be used, uh, this could be given to you at the end of the year when you file your, your tax return. But lawmakers are saying the American people need the money today, not in a year. That's true. But some say that gas prices will be even higher in a year. So even though, yes, people need it today, they will desperately need it in a year. And that's true as well. Some even talked about monthly payments. Breaking this up into monthly payments. Well, like I just stated, $41.66 per month. And that's what's gonna get, you're gonna get a check for $42 per month. Well, what some are saying is that this would cost too much money uh, to just send out the payments that it would make absolutely no sense to do this because the, the cost to send the money out would be very similar to the amount of money that's actually going out. So this would not be an uh, effective use of money. One lawmaker stated that they should just give money to those on SNAP benefits as an increase, okay? So some are saying, no, let's target the people that are on SNAP benefits right? Target the people that are on this, this uh, EBT program. Target those people, give them a $500 gas voucher, gas credit, whatever, earned income tax credit. Give them that money. Or some are saying just put the money on the SNAP benefits card, on the SNAP card, the EBT card. Just put the money there and they can reuse that money 
you know, for food, for, you know, gas if they need to, right? And so this would, this would create a little bit more of a, an issue, but th there's, there's ways they can do this, right? And so this is what some are talking about. Now, again, these are just discussions. I don't want to bring this up and say, oh, this is going to pass. These are just discussions, but these discussions ultimately lead to, okay, well, if we know that, yes, the American people need more money, and this is where lawmakers say they were wrong, if we know the American people need more money, well, maybe we don't give them this, this gas card. Maybe that's just not a good use of, of money or time. Maybe we just go back, right, with the stimulus checks. Maybe that's what we see. And if that's what we see, great, perfect. That's exactly what many lawmakers are pushing for anyway. And so some uh, experts say that we are gonna see additional uh, you know, pushes, additional uh, urges from certain lawmakers to the, to the Biden administration and to the leaders, but it's not because they wanna see their idea pass, it's because they want to make lawmakers see this idea as, oh, well that's a good idea, problem is it's not a good use of money. So if we're gonna do that, we might as well just go with the stimulus check. And the lawmakers will be like, oh, all right, well, let's go with the stimulus check as well. And so that's what we're gonna see. People are gonna throw out these different plans, different ideas to make it seem like it's worse than a stimulus check to try to prop up the stimulus check talks. Again, it does not guarantee we see an additional stimulus check, but it's a little bit more likely. So we'll see what happens as we get a little bit closer. Some lawmakers are worried that giving more money away at this time is only going to cause inflation to rise faster. Even the Federal Reserve Chairman, Jerome Powell, he earlier stated that we are most likely going to see inflation for a little bit longer than previously expected. Many people were expecting we would see inflation for two to three months. Two to three months. It would just be this transitory you know, inflation. Would, just as we transition from being locked down to fully opening up, obviously prices are gonna increase because the demand is increasing, right? It's the supply and demand principle. This goes into effect. Well, if the supply and demand principle goes into effect and we are seeing a, a slow in manufacturing, we're not seeing as many staff come back uh, to airlines. And so, you know, the airline industry has to raise prices in order to hopefully slow down travel because they don't have as many pilots. They don't have as many, uh, you know, stewardess, you know, flight attendants, they don't have that. They don't have the, the, the crew, you know, man, you're, you're checking and maintaining the planes, right? So they need to slow down travel in order to get those people back slowly, right? Hotel industries, you know, th this industry is, is struggling because a lot of people aren't coming back. I just uh, a couple weeks ago actually went and stayed in a, in a hotel. Well, at this hotel, I was supposed to be able to check in at three o'clock. Well, at six o'clock, they were still cleaning the rooms because they had, they did not have enough people to clean the amount of rooms that they're renting out, okay? And so this was an issue. And this is a big issue. And so this is kind of what we're seeing. And this is why some are now saying, and this is something that Federal Reserve uh, Chairman Jerome Powell said, is that he is now saying that this high rise in inflation is actually gonna happen for the next, or for six to nine months. Not two to three, six to nine months. So triple what he was expecting. That's not good. That is not good. And if this happens, millions of people will be un unable to pay for the most basic necessities that they need to live their everyday lives. Well, and the problem with things like this, okay? The problem is that right now, uh, what we're seeing is that this bipartisan bill, okay, this, this uh, you know, whatever, $1.2 trillion infrastructure, hard human infrastructure package, this bill is, is likely to pass, but there's still a lot of negotiations happening right now. And right now what we're seeing is that some are saying that this bill is gonna pass next week. The Senate, and specifically Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, says there will be a vote on the floor um, where on next Wednesday, this is actually July 21st, there will be a vote on the Senate floor for this bill. The problem though, and here's what a lot of people are very upset about, is that there's no bill yet. We do not have the legislative text of this bill just yet. They are waiting on that. Lawmakers say that they were hoping to have this done by the end of this week. Well, that is today. 
and some say that no, we still have a long ways to go, which means possibly Saturday, maybe Sunday, chances are we go into next week without the leg legislative text, which means Republicans are not going to even consider this bill until they have the full text. Well, many Republicans say that they will not vote on a bill when they have not even reviewed the text yet. So they're not sure what will even be in it. They, will not, they are not sure what the legislative text will look like. Will they need to change their verbiage? They don't know. But what happens from here is something that we will see over the next probably week. Okay, I'm just throwing this out there. This is not a guess by experts. This is a guess by me, the guy on YouTube. My guess is over the next week, we will see some movement. Whether we see a vote, my expectation is no. I don't think we would see a vote, and if we do, I think it would get called off because I don't think enough Democrats would even support this as well. Remember, this is the bipartisan bill, which means we need 60 uh, yeses in the Senate right now. Some are saying that we will not have 60 yeses. We will not have 60 yeses because everybody wants to see the bill. Not just the Democratic portion of the bill, the Republican side of the bill as well. They want to see both parts. And so that's where we're gonna have issues. Now, let's talk about the stimulus check. And I wanna talk about this because, and I got this question earlier on today, is somebody asked, are we going to see a stimulus check and when will it pass? And I wanna be 100% clear. As of right now, there's no stimulus check being included into the, the $3.5 trillion um, infrastructure package. There, there's no stimulus check included in that. There's no stimulus check included in the bipartisan bill either. And I wanna be 100% clear with this. Yes, many lawmakers are pushing for this. Many want to see it. But at the same time, some say there's not enough room in the $3.5 trillion infrastructure package because Democrats wanna get all these different line items included. Well, I can tell you there is enough money. There was enough money for a $1,400 stimulus check in the stimulus package that only cost $1.9 trillion. So when we effectively almost double the social infrastructure package and then they say that there's not enough money in it, that's wrong, that's, that's a lie. There is enough money if they want it to be included. But as of right now, many lawmakers are not including this. They're not pushing for a stimulus check at this time. They want to wait, and this is exactly what I said earlier on today, is they wanna wait until the last minute before they finally say, okay, we need a stimulus check included because they don't wanna get it pulled out amidst and amongst the, the rest of the talks, which most likely would happen. Now, according to Senator Bernie Sanders, and there's multiple senators that want a stimulus check, the $3.5 trillion infrastructure package is just the start. This is not the end, this is not the limit. There's more that could be added. They say that we know that a $3.5 trillion is more than enough to get the American people what they need, but some say at $3.5 trillion, a, 400, a $400 billion uh, package for a stimulus check would be greatly appreciated by the American people. It wouldn't just be appreciated, it is needed. Now, what we are hearing is that this $3.5 trillion infrastructure package is the starting point, is $3.5 trillion. That's the starting point. Democrats say that this is the starting point and once all the line items have been added and smaller agendas are placed into this bill, it could easily top $4 trillion. So that's an additional $500 billion. Well, what costs less than $500 billion? Well, a $400 billion package for stimulus checks, which would be another $1,400. You think Democrats wanna go into the 2022 midterm elections and be fighting with Republicans over, hey, our president, former President Donald Trump, he gave $1,200 checks and $600 checks. Well, you only gave a $1,400 check. So in order to make things equal, you got pretty much put out another $400, right? Another $400, get to $1,800. Well, is Congress gonna pass a $400 stimulus check? Probably not. You think they'd come out with something close to maybe 1,000, 1,200, 14, possibly 2,000? Yeah, some are saying that the $2,000 is what most people expect is going to pass. If it passes or not, honestly, we don't know. According to one group of economists, a $4 trillion infrastructure package could do more harm than good if there is not more money directly going to the American people. And they say this because 
this is going to cause inflation to happen much faster. And if American people don't get additional help, then then no uh, infrastructure is going to matter when the feeling uh, or the feeling that most people get is it's hitting them in their wallet. And now let me ask you this. Where are you seeing this inflation happen? Are, are you going to the grocery store and you, and you see the prices? Or are you getting to the end of the week or the month and you realize, oh no, I don't have enough money to cover this bill. Is it because you keep on buying the same stuff and you didn't realize, oh, prices have gone up, you know, 10, 15, 20%? Let me know. What are you doing and how are you seeing this, this rise in inflation? For me, it's at the pumps, it's at the gas. Is whenever I put in gas in the car, that's where I'm seeing it. I don't spend a lot of money. Honestly, do not spend a lot of money. I spend a lot of my time working. I do YouTube videos. I'm a reseller, so when I'm when I'm uh, you know spending money, it's usually for the business, right? That's when I'm spending money. It's not because I'm going out and buying all these you know extravagant things or you know doing all these you know fancy vacations. I'm pretty much here all the time and have been for the past you know year and a half, two years. Okay, so for me, it's not about spending money on things like you know new clothes. I wear the same clothes. I wear workout clothes all the time. It's because that's what I like. I'm not going out there and spending all this money on luxury brands, right? My shirts, my average shirt, probably cost me about 12 to 15 bucks. I buy almost everything at Under Armour, almost everything. Under Armour, Nike, Adidas. That's what I wear. So for me. It's at the pumps. That's where I'm seeing the most, uh, the rise in, in costs. So let me know what, your, what yours is down in the comment section below. Now, last thing I wanna address is next week we're gonna see a vote. Now, whether we see this vote actually happen or not, that's currently unknown and it all depends on when we see this infrastructure package. Some say it's gonna happen uh, this weekend, others say they'll probably happen sometime the beginning of next week. Now, I don't know when it's gonna happen. Again, I'm not an expert, I'm not the guy writing the bill, I'm just the guy on YouTube. But what I can tell you, as soon as we get this information, I promise I will bring you that update as soon as I can. One thing I can tell you is that right now it seems like the American people are just eager to try to get something done eager to try to figure out what is next for us. There's so much money, $3.5 trillion. Well, a lot of experts believe that $3.5 trillion is going to too many, uh, too many different agendas. They say more money needs to go to the American people and if not, the American people will remember. And this is exactly what you guys have stated before, that you are gonna remember exactly what the Biden administration and President Biden promised before the election, before you voted for him. You will remember that and you will remember do not vote Democrat again. Now I'm not saying don't vote Democrat. I'm not saying you have to vote Republican. I'm not saying any of that stuff. You can vote for whoever you want to. That's the best part about here in, the, here in the United States is that we have this voice. We can talk, we can vote for somebody, we can have an opinion. That's perfect. And this is also one of the things I wanna thank you guys for as well. You guys are always honest, upfront, sometimes very, very blunt uh, in a lot of the videos that, hey, you know, he promised this, he didn't give us this, what's up with that? Or, hey, you stated this in the video, but yet, you didn't really talk about it. Again, whether you're you're you know giving me a little bit of a you know advice or you're asking me you know, a question on what's going on in politics or government or whatever, finance and money, you know I appreciate that. So again, thank you guys for doing that. But that is what we got for right now. I will come on later on uh, this evening to talk a little bit more about what we're seeing later on this afternoon. Uh, but if you guys have any questions whatsoever, please ask your questions down in the comment section below. Just want to thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.